Date, September 29, 1984, time 10.58 p.m. Subject number two, Matthew Bent, killed by capture on July 4, 1984 at approximately 6.32 to 35 p.m. Matthew Bent was a nine-year-old child that enjoyed his first day here, celebrating his birthday. He arrived here at about 3.11 p.m. for the party. Now, let's cut to the chase. At about 6.20 p.m. or a bit later, he wanted Funtime Freddy to sing him his favorite song. Now, of course I allowed him to, even though <laughs> I knew what would happen in the next few minutes. Of course, I had to make sure that he was alone with Funtime Freddy. So he was. Funtime Freddy took the song request. I don't remember which song, but what's important is that he did what he was told. About two minutes later, I heard the fate of Matthew Bent. Now, of course you know what happened. And this might be another pending question on your mind. Okay, kids suddenly go missing here. How do you think the parents reacted? Now, of course, this would pull a hell lot of attention at this establishment for suspicious occurrences. So, the parents are dealt with. I won't tell you what happened to them, of course, but they're surely put to sleep. Anyway, now we will be reviving Matthew Bent and yeah, let's see how this goes. Matthew Bent, can you hear me? I assume you are because you looked directly at me, which means you are already aware of your existence here. Mr. Dave, is that you? Yes, I'm Mr. Dave. You sure remember me, don't you? Yes, I remember you. Okay, good. Now, what is the last thing you remember before blacking out. I was listening to a song from the time Freddy was playing for me. I can't remember the rest of the details. Interesting. Well, Matthew, you aren't dead. You are here right now talking to Mr. Dave. Where is my parents, Mr. Dave? Oh, that that isn't important right now. Let's just say, I gave you a, a new and improved body. Yay, see? You now have robotic abilities beyond belief. Awesome, isn't it? I can't move, and I can't do anything else. What happened to me? Come on, come on, don't worry. You'll get used to the body soon. Just. I'll just have to teach you, Matthew. Mr. Dave, please, 
Matthew, as I said, that isn't important right now, okay? They are okay, they are fine. <sighs> Can you manipulate anything in this room? I mean, it's one of your robotic abilities, so go ahead, give it a try. What should I do? What should I manipulate? Try to manipulate the lighting that is above you. You can try to turn it off, you can try to turn it on, or blow a fuse, you decide. Awesome. Well, Matthew, you are all set. You are now more awesome than you were the last time. Cool, right? Yeah. <sighs> Subject number two, Matthew Bent. The experiment went successful. The second successful experiment. Just like with Thomas, last night, he was constantly asking for his parents, which he will never see them again. So yeah. Oh, and again, thanks to Charlotte Emily, I wouldn't have been making these amazing discoveries and experiments. Now, we have another subject tomorrow. It, it was an unfortunate outcome. Elizabeth Afton, my own daughter, taken from me by my, my, my own creation. Oh, God, Lizzie. I could just turn back the hands of time. Bring her back. Just just like Joseph. But but I can't. I I can't bring her back. It's my fault. I'd rather have Michael torn apart over and over again.